How's it going? How are you? Good to see you. How are things over at uh, Lakewood Athletic? Oh, I can't complain. Going pretty well. Of course, most of our members are over here this weekend <laughs> playing in your tournament. Hey, great tournament. You guys have done a great job this weekend. Well, it may be our last hurrah, so we tried to do it right. What do you mean? Well, we're thinking about phasing out racquetball here. Really? I thought you guys had a very avid racquetball following here. Yeah, well, it's something some of the other clubs are doing, and to be honest, I'm not quite sure how much good it's doing us to have these courts. Well, you know, we were thinking about doing that over at Lakewood, but uh -huh. we took a hard look at the facts, and I tell you what, you'd be amazed at some of the financial advantages to keeping, even expanding your courts. Oh, yeah? I tell you, why don't we have lunch sometime this week, and I'll tell you what we found out. All right, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. How about next Tuesday here? Here, great. Yeah. All right, okay. see you then. Okay, right. thanks, Tom. What can I get for you the drink? Uh, I'll have some iced tea. And you, sir? I'll just have the water. All right. So, let me tell you what my staff and I found out about racquetball. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's profitable. We looked at the figures from racquetball courts all across the country, including our own court. We found out that racquetball players have the highest retention rate of any club members, a 39% retention rate. So, there's long-term profitability in racquetball courts. Hmm. You know, another thing we found is that clubs with racquetball facilities in them average $33 in income per square foot compared with $29 per square foot for all other clubs on the average. Really? Oh, yeah. Plus, you compare that to the fact that, well, I'm sure you can relate to this, paying $10,000 a year just to keep the fitness area in good shape. I mean, that's just an industry average compared to $100 a year for racquetball court upkeep. Hmm, that's true. Racquetball alone, if a club programs it right, is it such a great asset for square footage and space use that it can be very profitable for a club. With nearly 4,000 members at our club, half our membership utilizes the court space for a variety of activities. When you have 2,000 members actively using your courts for not just racquetball alone, but the variety of other sports you can do with that space is just a phenomenal profitability for the club. Not only that is the amount of equipment that you can sell that can be profitable for your club, from rackets to balls to bags, uh, and the programs that you can have uh, from tournaments to social functions. Uh, it all adds up to dollars and cents in retention, and that's the bottom line. It saves the club money if you can retain the members longer. So you put it all together and you find out that the racquetball courts can actually bring in up to $95,000 a year. Hmm. And what we've done to augment the profitability is to put in a pro shop. Uh, yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, we've done really well selling top-of-the-line equipment and using our courts as sort of an on-site testing facility. It's really just a service for the membership. In fact, there are lots of ways that you can use the racquetball courts to enhance the way your members use the club. Yeah, it's a funny thing you mentioned, the thing about retaining members, mm -hmm. because now that I think of it, the people who do aerobics and a lot of the other things, well, they come and go a lot, but the racquetball players, well, they've been here for years and they're here all the time. Yeah, well, look at the reasons. It's a great workout. Well, mm -hmm. Think of the concentration you need to play racquetball mm -hmm. and all the drama and variety of being mm -hmm. in a match. Mm -hmm. It's just a lot more fun than other forms of exercise for a lot of people, and, you know, the fun is what keeps them coming back. That's right. The people that come to the club want to have fun, and they want to meet new people, too. Mm -hmm. And racquetball is great for that. I mean, you can put together club tournaments and leagues. People build friendships on stuff like that, and that way they feel like they're getting more out of their membership so they stick around longer. You know, that makes a lot of sense. Ah, you thank you. Thank you. Financially, too. Right. <laughs> I think that's one of the positive aspects that racquetball really brings to this club, more so than a lot of sports, and that's the camaraderie that simply kind of follows the game. I think the combination a lot of times of having a racquetball pro that can be innovative in setting up leagues, and, and tournaments and special events where you get a lot of the players together meeting each other and then a lot of interplay going on at the same time. When you take all of that and add it together, it means a lot of fun and a lot of camaraderie and a lot of good friendships all combined at one time. So for us, having the courts definitely brings a member satisfaction. What's going to get for you guys? No, I think we're good, thanks. All right, thank you. All right. You know what else we found out? What? Number one reason people quit working out at the club? 
time constraints. Oh man, these days that's a killer. Mm -hmm. and, and racquetball is perfect for that. I mean, where else can you get a more vigorous, more entertaining workout than in the time it takes to play a game of racquetball? <laughs> I guess, considering all the things we have to offer, I have to agree. So uh, tell me, how are things going for you since you made the decision to hang on to your courts? Well, you know, that's the greatest part of it. We found that when we finally committed ourselves to supporting our members who play racquetball, that a whole bunch of other people were attracted to the club. Hmm. But what have you done to support racquetball? Well, we hired someone part-time to be sort of our racquetball programmer. He schedules the lessons and the racquetball parties mm -hmm. and club tournaments, works in the pro shop. I mean, you wouldn't have an aerobics program without an aerobics instructor, right? <laughs> Good point. Yeah. The same deal. It's things like that that help attract new users to our club. And when we started doing them, our racquetball program really started taking off. We've got nine racquetball courts that are kept busy all the time. It's a very profitable part of our company. We have a racquetball pro on staff, and he runs lessons, clinics, and racquetball leagues. He's not a full-time employee. It doesn't take that kind of expense. It just needs somebody to take care of the program and pay attention to it. Uh, if you have a racquetball pro on staff, and if you have the racquetball courts, there's no reason why you can't be profitable. It's a great sport. It's a lot of fun. A beginner can come out the very first day and have a good time. And that's why they come back, and that's why it's profitable for the company and for our investors. As long as we pay attention to these programs, provide them with programs like clinics and lessons and challenge court, then the players will come out and play. And as long as they're here playing, then we're in business and we're making money. It's a great sport, it's a lot of fun, and it's profitable. Well, you know, the thing about it is you gotta play racquetball with another person. Doubles are getting really popular at my club, and you know, people, when they're looking for a new club, they often follow their friends. There's no question about it. Having a solid racquetball program is a great way to attract new members. Hey, it's a lifetime sport the whole family can play. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Tommy, thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, no, no problem. No, I was really glad you came up to me the other day because it really changed the way I was thinking about the racquetball program and our whole, the courts and everything. Well, yeah, you know, it's like I'm saying, racquetball is happening again. There's mm -hmm. more pro tournaments on TV, better events for amateurs, and also more scholastic programs for racquetball. And our club can get a lot out of it for being a part of it. There you go. <laughs> thanks again, Tommy. Well, no problem. Hey, what about a game this week? That would be great. All right. I'll give you a call. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. All right.